In this quick video, I'm going to explain to you why you should be using a regular business email address instead of a Gmail address to log into your Google Analytics account. And I'm going to show you how you can set it up for free. Let's dive in. Welcome to the channel, my name is Leon. This channel exists to help you make better decisions in your daily work using your analytics data. I wanna thank everyone that has been liking my videos and has subscribed to the channel recently. That really helps me get these videos out to as many people as I can. As a way to say thank you, I've created a cheat sheet full of 20 strategies to help you grow your website traffic today. There's a link in the video description where you can grab that. Also, if you wanna watch more videos just like this, there's a link in the video description also to a playlist full of videos just like this. All right, why would you use a business email address instead of a Gmail address to log into your Google Analytics account? Well, there are really two reasons. The first reason is to stay organized because it gets really messy if you keep all your personal uh, projects and your business projects inside of one account. But the second reason is maybe even more important because it helps you as the admin of the site to keep track of who has access to the account and who doesn't. And let me show you in GA4 what I mean. So we're inside of GA4 and I'm gonna go into admin under account. I'm gonna open up the account access management. This is the place where I can see everyone that has access to my Google Analytics account. And as you see here, I have this Gmail account right here. I have another Gmail account right here that I kind of use for these videos because it's set to English and the rest is set to Dutch. And I have a business email address right here. And this is how I recommend you set up your Google Analytics accounts, especially if you're in a larger organization and working with many different parties. So for instance, an agency, but also internally where you have many people that have access. Because especially when you're growing, there's no way to know every person on the list that has access. And from a Gmail address, you will never be able to say with what organization they're involved in. For instance, a business email address, I can immediately see this is someone who is inside my own organization. And when there's an agency involved and they're using their business email address, I can easily see, oh, that's from that agency. And I can check, does this person still need access? But if you're using Gmail addresses, it gets impossible to see with what organization they're involved in. And it gets harder and harder to know exactly if that person still should have access. So the second thing that I wanna mention is, what I see a lot of organizations do is that everyone in the team is using just one email address to log into Google Analytics. And I think that is a bad idea. I think everyone should be using user-based accounts. So every user has their own email address to log into Google Analytics. Let me go through the reasons why I believe that. So first of all, if you're using a centralized email address, so everyone is using the same email address to log into Google Analytics, there's no way of you knowing who has access to Google Analytics and who doesn't. For instance, you will get people inside of your organization that learn about the password and then get access, but people will also leave the organization and they will still have access to that email address and that password to log into Google Analytics. And it's really hard to know who has access and who doesn't. Also, if you're using double authentication, it is a pain to log into Google Analytics on a new location. For instance, if you're moving to a different place, you're working in a different office for a day, and you're trying to log into Google Analytics, you probably get a double verification screen where there's a code being sent to someone else's phone. And if you're using a centralized email address, it gets really hard to log into a Google account, especially if the person that is the owner of the account is on a holiday. And believe me, I've had these uh, situations more than once. And the third reason why it's important not to use centralized accounts, but user-based accounts, is because J4 will sometimes keep track of who did change something inside of Google Analytics. For instance, if an important setting was changed, you will find that inside of the logs of Google Analytics. And that's why it's important to use user-based accounts because on a user-based account, it will note exactly the user, so the email address of the user, that has made that change. And if you're using a centralized account, it's impossible to track who did what. There's also one disadvantage of using personalized user-based accounts instead of a centralized account. And that is when you're verifying some domain or when you're making connections between a different pieces of software, for instance, Google Analytics and the Search Console, because if you're making that connection on a user-based account and you're leaving the organization, you will lose that connection. So in some cases, it can be a good idea to both have user-based accounts, but also 
have a centralized account when you're making these kinds of connections, when you're making verification on, for instance, Google Search Console, then you do that on the centralized account. So when you leave the organization, you will be able to transfer that account over to the new administrator. So that's the only reason why I should be using a centralized account instead of a user-based account. I hope this makes sense. Let me show you how you can make user-based accounts based on your business email address for free in just a couple of steps. So we're inside of the create a Google account form. I will put a link in the video description to this form. I'm gonna assume that you have your email set up via Microsoft Office or some other email provider because if you already have Google Mail or Google Workspace as your email provider, you can skip this step because your email address is already a Google account. Yeah, so let's go. I'm gonna fill out this form. I'm gonna put in my first name and my last name. I'm gonna say next, I'm gonna set a birthday and a gender and i'm gonna press next then it's gonna say choose your gmail address we don't want a new gmail address we want our business email address to act like a proper google account so that's why i'm pressing this button use your existing email and here is where i fill out my existing business email address. So I created a new email address within another email provider to help as an example. And that email address is info at in the So you're gonna fill out your own business email address right here. And then you're gonna press next. So now Google has sent a verification code to my email address. I'm gonna get that and then we're gonna continue. So Google did send me a verification code. I went ahead and copied that and I'm gonna paste it in right here. And now I'm gonna press next. So now I'm gonna create a strong password. I'm gonna copy it from my password manager. So it's right here. Uh, I'm gonna say next. We could also add a phone number. I'm gonna leave it for now, but this will really help you secure your email address. So you can add double verification. So if Google detects a login via a new location, they will often send you a small code via your phone to make sure it's you. And this really helps secure your Google account. So I really recommend you fill out this entire form. But for now, for example, I'm gonna skip it, review the account information, I'm gonna say next. So you can do some privacy settings right here. I'm gonna do the quick version, which is, um, uh, I'm gonna reject all. Then I'm gonna confirm and I'm gonna agree to the terms. So this is how you create a Google account on your business email address and not on a Gmail. Let me show you as a final step how you can add this email address to your Google Analytics account. So from this day forward, you can log into Google Analytics via your business email address. So we're back in Google Analytics. I'm still under admin, under account, and now I'm gonna click account access management to add my new email address to Google Analytics. So I'm gonna use this plus sign up here. I'm gonna add a user. And now I'm gonna fill out my new Google account, info at the .nl. I'm gonna notify new users by email. I'm gonna set the standard roles to administrator and I'm gonna add this user. So this is how you make sure that you can log in to Google Analytics via your business email address and not a Gmail address. I hope this video was clear. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, please click like and subscribe to the channel. That would really help me get this video out to as many people as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.